for the majority of my life, there was no professional teams at all. The idea of being a professional athlete was just like not in my mind. I just remember thinking about whatever level I was at. Let's be the best and let's get to that very next level. <laughs> well, how's it going with the team? What's new? <laughs> I What's mean, <laughs> right now, the energy is amazing. I feel more part of the team now, playing more games and stuff like that, so it feels nice. I feel like I was born at the right time because the women's game is growing yeah. so much right now. And just for like all the players like you and past national team players made it to where it is now, like the game. And it's honestly amazing because this was not be an option. Our fight for equal pay, our fight for the league, our fight for opportunity came off the back of us winning. And that was like an enormous amount of pressure. Yeah. And then we had to go win again, which was like kind of insane. But I always think like, what if I grew up with all of the same resources as the best men's player? Like how good would I be? Yeah. And so the hope is that you and your generation of players get to reap the benefits of that, but then we all win because the women's game's in a better position. Already you guys have done so much. You've already <laughs> done- We're on our way, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, you've already done a lot. And I think my generation continuing that and then building that momentum for the next generation is gonna be amazing. And I hope it goes on the same path as it has been because it's just so cool. I usually got my nails done for like special occasions and stuff like that, mostly. I like getting them done to feel refreshed and that's probably like after not having a lot of time to myself and then after that I'm like, okay, I need to focus on my like look. <laughs> <laughs> Did all of your friends like know you were like a very good soccer player? I mean, I feel like more now it's just like Alyssa the soccer player when I go to school and stuff. I don't really like talking about it because I feel like that's most of my life like outside of school. They knew that I just left school for soccer a lot, but like I don't think they realized like how good I was until they watched a couple of our games at high school and they're like, wow, you're so good. I feel like I'm still finding my identity, like just in general, because I'm so young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just try to stay connected with my friends and making sure that I could do most of my senior stuff, like go to prom, go to graduation. It's always meant a lot to me. Just since I was young, I've always like dreamt of going to prom. I just like, I feel like the movies and stuff like that just like, make it look so fun. And oh my gosh, and it's next week. Yeah. Well, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a mauve pink long dress off the shoulder. It's actually on Saturday, so. And then we play on Saturday? Yeah. How's that gonna happen? I'm gonna go like after. Oh my God, you're gonna play in the game and then go to yeah. prom? This is so funny. Wait, are you gonna get ready in the locker room? Yeah. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> For like five years, I never got my nails done, like the last five years. I used to do one a lot when I was younger. And then I was like, mm, whatever, I'm a feminist and I'm just like not gonna do my nails. <laughs> but I always like getting my hair done. So I was only like halfway home. When I lived in the UK last winter and I was not playing, I started enjoying it again. And I think it's mostly, it just sort of like doesn't allow you to be on your phone, doesn't allow you to do anything. And that disconnection's I think extremely important. The hardest step of like pushing a boulder is the first one and mm -hmm. I feel like we're getting to that point where like now it's time to accelerate mm -hmm. and that a club like Angel City is so monumental in that yeah. story and that progress. They do already so much for the community just being a part of the club I feel like and LA is just surrounded by culture and I think that Angel City really emphasizes that. You get to play for owners for founders and for leaders that believe in you fully, they have that sense that we have value and they are they have the intentionality to, to do right by us. Players have to be made into stars by the infrastructure around them. So what is the media? What is the content? What is the storytelling? And if they believe in our value, they have to believe in the value of our community. For me and my perspective, like women's sports shouldn't follow a men's sports model because if we do, we'll always be second. We should build our own model. And there's a huge opportunity there because there's not that many like all women forces. Mm -hmm. And so we just naturally symbolize progress for women and opportunity for women. And so that's ultimately where the value comes from. My grandma gets her nails done. She is just turned 90 and she gets her nails done every single week. Really? And she's so 
proud of her nails that when I do have my nails done, I am like sure. feel like I'm yeah. paying homage to my grandma. <laughs> Tell me about your first cat with the national team. Being able to sub on for Megan Rapino was insane. I like could not stop thinking about going in, like I can't believe I'm here and stuff like that. I was just so locked into like not messing up and I was shocked. It's funny hearing you say this because you don't show that. You're very confident, level-headed, which I know you are, but like <laughs> internally you're saying like, oh my God, this yeah. is a big moment, but you've already experienced so many like monumental booms to your career where it's like first cap at Wembley in front of 100,000 people, crazy. Playing for Angel City, getting your first games, and so the moment never looks too big for you. You always look really ready for it. We have like a really great forward line of different ages, different personalities, and there's such a great opportunity that we all have with you being there because your future is like so expansive. So I think that kind of makes my career and legacy like infinite. Can I see? Yes. Oh my gosh. I love the regular. It's really pretty. Oh, that's so cute. Got a little gem. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> here's our nails. I'm looking all fresh. I have four stars on my nails representing the four World Cup titles. Hopefully we're here again in the future with a fifth star <laughs> on our nails. <laughs> I did a bunch of stars, but I got one with a gem because this year is a lot of firsts for me. It's my first pro year, so I got that. And also, I just wanted my nails to look nice for prom, so. <laughs> prom ready? Yeah. <laughs>